Hey you guys, it's Jeannie from Ingenious Travels and today I'm ready to set sail on the Norwegian Encore. We're heading to Alaska from Seattle. As you can see, our hotel Marriott is right in the background. Click on the link below and you can check that out. But I'm getting ready to set sail. We've got about a half an hour until we're ready to go. I did get a tip from a cruiser at the hotel that said when you start out on the cruise and you're going through the straits, make sure to look for all the whales because it's mating season. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Come with me, it's seven days of fun. I can't wait. All right, you guys, we're setting sail. Here we go. Seven days of fun. This is a really cute idea. I'm gonna go down our row. A lot of people decorate their doors. Let's go check them out. This party's got lots of people in it. I think there's like six or seven different rooms. You guys gotta check out how big the bathroom is. It's really big. This side is the Mexican restaurant. Nobody waiting. It looks like everybody decided, like us, on the first night to hit the steakhouse. Here's the line with reservations. We're back from dinner. We're gonna relax a little bit before we go dancing. We're a little full. It was really nice. Steakhouse, definitely get reservations. I do love on the TV that it shows you where we are. So we're heading through the street. It was real calm when we started out, but you can hear the waves, so let's go check them out. It's getting a little rougher through the street, but really on this big of a boat, you don't even feel it. The breeze is so pretty, we're keeping the door open and just hearing the waves is so relaxing. I hope we don't fall asleep instead of going dancing tonight. Although we can still hear the party up there. They must be doing like karaoke or whatever. Because everybody was up there living on a prayer. something a little bit more low-key on day one they're showing a movie which actually works out real well because it's a quiet place <laughs> so if you can't hear it it's not that big of a deal the TV in your room is a lot of help uh, we found out that we could reserve tickets in the theater for choir boys and I think that we're gonna do that tomorrow night good morning day two Okay, we're starting day two and I'm gonna give you a tip. They told us to follow the fish. The fish swim in the direction of where you're going. So I think that's kind of cool. All right, off to breakfast, you guys. Yet again, another pool I will not be going into. If only it wasn't so cold and rainy. They got a fitness center for Nick. All right, you guys, I'm back. It's day two of the cruise, and obviously I'm having a great time. 
And I figured it this way. Look, if you're going to take this cruise, you're going to be watching the official videos and looking at pictures. I figure what I'm going to help you with is tips. Tips for making this trip a little easier, maybe a little bit more fun. So what we've learned so far is it is okay to take an empty bottle on board. Uh, you can fill it up at any restaurant or the buffet or the bars. They'll fill it up with water for you and believe me, you'll want it. It was excellent having my own water in the cabin because you get really thirsty. Uh, let's see, you can hang things as you saw on your door. You can decorate and celebrate. It's kind of fun to see everybody celebrating their birthdays and anniversaries. Uh, here's another thing that I learned today. Um, we happen to be flying out uh, very late. We get off the boat early in the morning on Sunday and our flight isn't until 11.30 p.m. And the last thing I want to do is schlep around all my luggage. So we did find out that they have a form that you can get that they will take your um, luggage right to the airport. So that's just a couple of things that we're learning so far. All right, I'll keep it posted. Okay, here's my other tip. You need to take care of yourself. It's day two. A lot was done yesterday. You boarded, you, you know, we launched, we were leaving, we were looking for all the killer whales. Uh, we had a nice late dinner. There was a welcome party at like 10, 15. Um, there was a lot going on. So I didn't get to bed until after three last night and we were up early for breakfast. So utilize this day at sea, rest, let everybody else go nuts. It's a long cruise, we got plenty of time. I got another tip if it's for you. The air conditioning is okay, it was all right in here. Um, but you know, you brought all of your winter clothes, so you're dressed as warm as can be. We wound up leaving our door open all night. And if you listen, if I'd shut up, you can hear the gentle waves. It was so beautiful. We didn't need air conditioning, we had our own air conditioning. It was just so cool and the waves just lulled us to bed. So I'm gonna take a nap and I'll be ready for dinner and a show tonight. And again, don't forget to book your shows. Uh, when you come in and you're checking in and you're getting into your room for the first time, check your TV, it'll teach you what to do.
day three. Okay, so I just finished day two, and here are gonna be my tips. I don't have Nick with me, I miss him as my producer, so I got my cheat sheet. We're gonna start with, they say in the package that it is free cruising dress code, but we did discover yesterday at the Italian restaurant that hoodies are not allowed, no matter how pretty or decorative, if it's got a hood on it, it's not allowed. So keep that in mind, you might have to run back to your cabin. Okay, we went to the choir boys last night and it was phenomenal. I definitely recommend it. And here's my tips on that. Um, go early, um, because, well, just go early. And then sidebar, if you need to use the restroom, do not use the restroom on the side of the theater that the choir boys is, is gonna be at because it is crowded. You can just slip across the hall to the other theater where nothing is playing and use that bathroom. So that was a really good tip. Go early, that's what I mentioned. Go early because you wanna get a good seat. And if you want it be pit, I would suggest you get in the aisle. They do pick people, they might pick you. Um, and again, go early because you can go, as you saw, you can go up stage and up onto the stage and get a beer. I asked everybody around me and there was a lovely couple that offered to drink it because we know from my beer fest, I don't drink beer. Okay. Um, the, at that point on day two, I guess um, I should be checking the navigation on the TV. We're getting into higher seas, so it was rough in there. Um, so I was getting a little bit queasy. And I had taken off my, my patch because I think they were keeping me up all night, or just the fun was. Um, so I did get a little queasy, and as we walked by the dance club, I went in. That's something I learned a long time ago. If you are getting queasy, get into the dance club. The pumping of the music, you don't even realize. I had so much fun. Um, there were all ages of people. Everybody was teaching, everybody dances. I was learning all the new dances. Thank you for teaching me the Dougie. Um, and I had something to offer. When they were doing tequila, I was teaching everybody the Tiwi Herman. A lot of fun, a lot of fun. Met Gladys with a Y and Roger. Love them, these young kids. I'm too embarrassed to tell them how old I am gonna be turning on Wednesday because they might not wanna hold, hang, on, hang out with their granny. But they, everyone that we got to know at the end of the night, all like 10, 15 of us have agreed that we're gonna come back and we're gonna party hard Wednesday for my birthday. All right, here's another thing, um, layering. Layering is very important, believe me. Bring from, from your short sleeve shirts, long sleeve shirts, you're gonna need a layer. It's really, really warm inside the ship. Of course it is, you know? So when you're dining and you're drinking, you're getting kind of sweaty. And on that note, learned in Girl Scouts, thank you, Mrs. Zatelsky, um, don't, wear the clothes that you've been sweating in all day. Like I, we're gonna be probably sweating all day being on the warm boat and then we're gonna go whale watching. I'm gonna completely change my outfit because you don't wanna wear a sweaty outfit. The sweat will get trapping the cold onto your body. So completely change that. Make sure your socks are always dry. So on my honor, Mrs. Zatelski, I listened to you many years ago. All right, so that's my recap. Uh, today, again, we're going to whale watch, so in the morning, I'll let you know everything I learned about that. All right, here we go. Everybody's lined up on, along the windows because there's lots of whales out there. But of course, every time I go to take the video out, I don't see any. Here's a nice clear view of Whiting Peak. You know, we were up at the observation lounge and it's nice up there, they have a bar. It's a little warm, but it's hard to see through all the people and the glass. When it dawned on me, <laughs> I have a balcony facing this exact direction. So here I sit, enjoying myself. Just gonna look for some whales, but generally they are out in the morning. Hey, another tip.
we've decided not to get off the ship the very first minute it came into port for this reason. Our whale watching expedition does not start for about an hour and a half or so. There's really no reason for us to have to rush out there. I mean, when we were coming back to the room to get ready and dress warm, it looked like everybody was abandoning the ship. <laughs> We made it to the falls at the Salmon Bay. It's absolutely gorgeous. Good night and good night, you know. We had a lot of fun. We closed down the town. Good morning, you guys. It's time to recap day three. It was a great day. Um, we arrived at Juno, and I would suggest that you do window shopping before your tours. Hopefully you'll have some time. We did. We wound up going on the um, whale watching tour. Well, actually, what am I talking about? You've already seen everything that we did. But we went on the whale watching tour, and then we did the salmon bake, and that was great. But I would window shop if you're gonna get anything big that won't fit in your purse, because it's kind of small quarters on the boat, and you don't want to be carrying all that luggage with you. Um, all right, 
we went we were watching and it takes a long time to get there and when you get off the boat there are restaurants on land that i would suggest you eat good because after everything is done it's kind of late it's dark before you get to the sand and bake now i don't eat any seafood but don't worry if you don't eat any seafood there are other things there they had salmon and ribs they had lots of sides they had cake hot cider that was so warm and yummy um uh, you can roast marshmallows, you can, on your way to their waterfall, which again, you saw was really, really gorgeous. Um, bring the binoculars. If you have the binoculars, so worth it. Obviously, whale watching, even watching for the birds and everything along land. It's getting really cold, by the way, you guys. All this time I was mentioning how warm it is, and they kept telling us that we are getting the best cruise. They hadn't seen this much blue skies beautiful weather, not rainy. Um, the girl on the whale tour said that they um, they hadn't had orcas in a month and we got a whole a, a whole pod. As a matter of fact, if you want to rewind and watch, evidently all that hubbub I got with the, with the big fin in the middle, the nail fin in the middle, was it was a nading pod. So they were nading and the women were around protecting. That was kind of cool. Okay. Hey, here was a game changer. When I was in Seattle, hey, I'm not technological and I've tried to use Tamarama and it's hard, but the game changer is to use Tamarama in the up and down. So I'm gonna see if we can get Nick to insert the picture of me and Andrea at the totem. Game changer. I've made more friends teaching everybody and taking everybody's pictures. They're so thrilled, they're so happy. They think I'm so smart and I, I'm not. Um, okay. The dance club is hot. <laughs> I spent every night at the dance club till 3 a.m. and I'm sure it's gonna hit me, but it's so much fun. I don't usually get to do this at home, so I'm having a blast. In the dance club, you're gonna meet a lot of people. It's not like when you're out in the world. These are people you see all day. It's, it's like a family, it's camaraderie. Um, I can't actually wait to go tonight because we've got a whole group of people, lots of ladies and gentlemen, lots of guys dancing, and they are having a blast. Um, oh, my point about that was, do yourself a favor, no matter how cold you think it is, dress as light as you can, because you are sweating. That DJ makes you sweat. Um, uh, oh, okay, so here's the last thing. Uh, I just want to let you know that we are now day four, and yay, it's my birthday, it's my birthday, shout it, it's your birthday. He'll be playing that for me later, he said. Um, uh, it's going to be a gorgeous day. We are going <laughs> totally blanked out. I guess it's the age. Uh, we're going up on the train ride today. Our train ride doesn't include the gold, uh, you know, mining for gold. It is so gold right now. I don't want to mine for gold. Keep your gold. I'll go to the gift shop. Um, all right, that's about all I have except for, you know what, you guys? I'm getting so close to 300 subscribers. Do me a favor. Wish me a happy birthday below. I'm going to subscribe back to you. So that's what I got so far. I'll keep looking to see what I can find for you. I'm gonna go have the best birthday ever. Thanks.
All right, you guys, here we go. Tips for day number four. We went up on the train. It was great. Um, I would recommend definitely you eat before you go up on the train. It's a three hour ride round trip. They give you complimentary water, but that's about it. I don't know if you can bring snacks because again, you should find yourself somewhere to eat before you go. But then you will come back into town. There are plenty of restaurants. We went to the Doughboy. The Doughboy was amazing. It was just enough to keep me going until we were back on the ship to eat. Okay. Um, again, uh, it was Wednesday. That was the last day that you can put in your form in order for your luggage to go right from the ship directly to the airport. Just a reminder, we are getting off the ship very early in the morning and we don't fly out until 11.30 at night. So there is no way up and down those hills of Seattle, I am bringing my luggage. So definitely get that filled out. It does not work for international travel. So we're really not sure what our party is gonna do about that because they are international travel. All right, um, hey, here's another tip. When you first start out, it's $100 for the internet package. We were given 150 minutes, and you think that that's a lot, but my party did wind up getting the $100 package, and it's totally worth it. I find myself scrambling just to text and talk to my family. Now, in the beginning, the first few days, they start uh, bringing the package down a little bit, and I have to admit, I missed out because I was being cheap and I thought I was gonna get a better deal, but I'd say it's definitely worth the $100. Okay. Um, you know, it was my birthday yesterday, amazing birthday. You can, when you're up at the buffet or at any restaurant, they will sing to you. That's not what I chose to do. I didn't want that attention. But I'll tell you what, my whole encore entourage really did it up for me. The DJ played the song. Hopefully we got some videos. Hopefully I don't look sweaty and ridiculous. But I'm telling you, our crew at the, at the um, social club has been amazing the last couple of days. Okay, we're in Glacier Day and we're in search of mountain goats. Um, we're gonna get the binoculars that supposedly I'm just gonna pan real slow. Um, against the gray rocks, you'll see little off-white mountain goats. That, I don't know. I said it was two o'clock off the dial, which would have been when I first started, but I'll go real slow. See if we see any. We're getting ready to go up to the dial. I don't think we're gonna be able to see it, but supposedly there's a bear descending right in the middle where the yellow trees are. And there's mountain goats. I'm not sure if, I'm gonna try and get my finger in. If that's a bear, it's hard to tell because you can't even zoom in that far. But we got binoculars, we're working on it. This is the only time we're allowed out on the Dow, so as you can see, everybody's out here. Make sure you wake up early to get out here for good stuff. The people are really cool. I mean, they're standing along, but they'll let you go forward and in front of them to get something good.
you guys, you might have noticed I got cut off abruptly at day four. Um, I'm running out of memory. So here we go, I'm gonna go fast. Um, the train, good idea to sit on the right side of the train. You're gonna see everything the same on the way up as you do on the way back. I'd recommend you get the back car. That way they announce what's happening and you're able to see it. Um, you know, you won't miss it. They'll be telling you and there's plenty of time. Um, I would say also if you're running out of time and minutes and, and Wi-Fi, uh, walkie-talkies. I saw people using them, they were great. All right, we went on to Glacier Day, day five. Um, it's the only time you can go on the Dow. So I would recommend you do it, it was amazing. They have snacks out there. They take professional pictures, but if you're nice, you can ask the guy behind you to take pictures for you. Um, we went to the Deedles. It was amazing, arrived an hour early. They let you in a half an hour early. You can get a drink and relax. It was amazing. It's day six, we're heading off to catch a can. I'll let you know what goes on there. All right, gotta be quick. a very short time and we felt really really rushed uh, there were lovely shops I mean you just had enough time really get out the boat early and you'll have a little bit more time but it's a very short time beautiful little shops you know this is not the day to stroll you need to get through if you're gonna see everything but I had a few minutes where I was able to take a break and hang out on the riverside but I did wind up going back to the ship alone um, after we did get back on, we had you know you have many hours at that point to relax. I would suggest, like I saw a lot of people, they brought some games, cards. Um, it was very relaxing, relaxing music on the observation deck. They have so much planned. You're gonna have to see what was for you. But what we chose was just to hang out on the deck and and just enjoy ourselves conversation easy music like i said lots of games we ran into our friend elaine um sweetie Elaine, her family uh, she wound up doing the fishing where you fished in the waiter boots and you caught fish and they had like a fish fry and they were able to eat their stuff that looked like it was a great um excursion so you might want to try that she highly recommended it um, uh, there was a warehouse when you first get off the boat, before you get on the buses, the buses hold 86 people. So it, it's not like they can't get you into town. There's just not a lot to, um, do there. Uh, let's see. Okay. So then we got back and here's the other thing. Uh, we went to the Japanese restaurant and it was phenomenal. Food is great, but I have to be honest, this one girl behind us, one of the chefs, was clanging her instruments against that thing. You know, they, it's a show, they have to sing, they have to dance. But man, she was clanging it like it was a fire bell and in an old town in the 1800s. And I gotta be honest, I got a migraine and that pretty much ended my night. But that was okay because I had time to really pack up my stuff and just relax for the evening. I didn't get to go down with my friends and watch the glow party at the disco. I think my disco nights might be over. We'll see if I can make it there tonight to say goodbye to everybody. But um, okay, they just announced just now, it's day seven, we're going to be in Victoria, British Columbia, but they just announced that um, the boat's going to arrive late, so maybe you should wait on getting your excursion so that if this happens to you, uh, they do every port that we go, there, there are people there to take you on even more excursions than they have listed on the boat. So maybe you might want to hold back on booking anything because they didn't even announce how long 
you know, we were going to be delayed or, or anything like that. And it's a short amount of time. I think you get off the boat at like 8 something p.m. and you got to be back by 11. So it's not a very big long time. And look, now we're going to be late. So, okay, that's what I got so far. We're going to go get something to eat. As always, I am starving. So, all right, I'll be back. It's on to day seven. On the last day, they do a music fest down by the pool where you get to see all the bands come out individually and just give you one last taste of what they have to offer. It's really gorgeous. I don't even need a jacket right now. Although that doesn't mean I'm gonna go do the water slide. I thought about it many times, but it just didn't work into the schedule. There are people sitting in the hot tubs. You guys, it really has been the cruise of a lifetime. It's amazing. I can't be any more thankful. Where's my host? There she is. Andrea, if you can, if you get the opportunity to have Andrea take you on a cruise, do it. She's the best cruise director ever. All right. They even have like warm broth that you can warm up with. Obviously, we're gonna warm up at the bar last night. And it looks like we're about to start. It's the last day. We're just sitting on the deck relaxing. It's so pretty. We saw a comedy show. Awesome. Oh, no, that's three o'clock. Sorry, everybody. It's the time change, time change. I'm on the wrong side of the boat. It's three o'clock. <laughs> okay, how embarrassing to be yelling at the wrong time. Thank God there's a time change. Give us a little tail. Bye, buddy. All right, you guys, this is a tip in real time. Don't walk, hit the horse-drawn carriage door. Don't listen to your party that ditches you and goes back to the ship. Okay, we made it. It's close to a 40 minute walk from the ship to downtown. So I would either find a bus a horse drawn carriage, a shuttle. It's a long walk. Unless, of course, you went back to the ship complaining that you had a stomach ache, like somebody we know. Farewell, Victoria. Goodbye, Canada. We had a great time. It's time to go to bed. It'll be an early morning tomorrow. It's 6 a.m. Good morning, beautiful Seattle. We made it back. say goodbye all right you guys these are my last day tips I gotta be quick because I'm running out of space on my phone okay so they got us there late um, but that's okay because I guess they adjust the excursion so don't worry about that everything seemed to be fine there um, it's a good idea to get a horse-drawn carriage or a shuttle because they say it's a quick walk but honestly it was a 40-minute walk and it was pretty dark, although you felt very safe. Hello, it's Canada. Um, we stopped by the Empress. Giant hotel, you saw it. Great bathroom facilities. 
go upstairs past the bar. Okay, so that was it. Um, again, you had to skedaddle back pretty quick. They had to give shots at the end because nothing is open in Victoria, except bars, uh, really, except bars. That's it. All right, so here we go. I hope I have enough time for this. I'm gonna run it down here on my final tips on the trip. Okay, get early dinner reservations. We realized we had the eight o'clock-ish time. It kind of messed up with some of the shows. So try and get an early uh, time, even if that's not your thing, or go late, late. There's always the 10 o'clock open, if that's your thing. Okay, premium drink package. Call it your own. Um, if you drink premium all the time, definitely get it. They only upcharge you like three, it's like $25 more for the package, but they only upcharge you when you want a premium, like three bucks. So do the math, see if it works for you. Um, hey, if it's your anniversary, make sure you stop by the Italian restaurant on those nice cartelli because they'll bring you a cake. So congratulations, Tyler and Dawson, on your anniversary. Hope you love that cake, boys. Mwah. All right, um, these are my opinions. Okay, oh, before I go to my opinions, I just want to give shout out to Gladys and Roger. You saw them, they were my dancing partners. They watched out for me. They were such good kids. We couldn't hook up in the end. Fortunately, I got seasick in the one restaurant and the pounding, let's not even start with that one. Um, so I just want to thank them. What a great time. Please, all of you, comment in the link below. Let me know you watch this. Let me know if you think any of my tips are good. Hey, how about leaving your own tip for me and everybody else? Okay, um, this is my opinion. All right, this is my opinion and then this is it. I hope that we have the time for it. Look, I understand a lot of people don't have balconies, but please, if you're gonna go up in the observation lounge to look around and, and check out the sites, don't sprawl yourself on the couch or the beautiful loungers next to the window and just start taking a nap. If you're starting to doze off, I get it. Go back to your cabin. It's really rude to go watch down the line. Everybody's sound asleep when there are other people just trying to look around. So that's it. All right. Had a great time. Amazing. I do it. Do it in a heartbeat. I'm scared to death of flying, but I did it and I'm glad I did. Trip of a lifetime, Andrea Teach, friend of 40 years. We celebrated 40 years on this on this cruise, and we laughed like teenagers walking through the dark of uh, <laughs> of Victoria. I, I can't from my heart, baby. I can't imagine a better shipmate. We had the best time. Thanks, you guys, for watching. Like, comment. For God's sake, subscribe. I'm close to 300, especially all my friends from the boat. Um, that's it. That's all I got to say. We're going to go conquer Seattle. We leave on the plane at 1130. Thanks for watching, you guys. Goodbye from Seattle.